Good morning, everyone. I'm over here on Cosmos Sapiens watching the eclipse live in South America. Everything runs in cycles as we're entering our halfway point between our dual eclipses. Uh, they are entering theirs. Uh, this will be the beginning of a seven year period for South America now as North America is fixing to enter its halfway point. Uh, South America is at its beginning. Everything runs in cycles. It's all about peak and repeat. Uh, eclipses um, run their course every 360 years and repeat again. It's quite fascinating how eclipses work. The astrologers in the priesthood have used eclipses throughout the, the eons uh, to manipulate the population. Today, not so much. Uh, it's more of, a, as a matter of fact, it's kind of opposite today. Uh, in the church as we know it, astrology is forbidden simply because they do not know how to read the Bible or they refuse to tell us the truth about it, one or the other, maybe both depending upon the priesthood. Some are just completely naive. I know I was for a very, very long time. It took me a... I kind of always had inclinations, but uh, <clears throat> until I learned alchemy and actually had freaking evidence that um, the Old Testament God is not the same as the New Testament God. There are many gods, <clears throat> and they're not all the same. Earth, water, air, and fire. But eclipses always bring change. Uh, usually when eclipses happen, we have this um, saying in astrology that heads roll. Heads roll when an eclipse happens. When we had an eclipse here, uh, Trump was elected and heads began to roll. So South America's already been in chaos. Uh, they got flipped to communist countries in the last couple of decades. And it's just been horrendous down there. So um, maybe this will bring a change for them as well. Uh, change, it's all about change. Everything that's happening is about major change. All the eclipses, all the alignments, the great conjunction between Saturn and Jupiter in the house of government. We're going to get a new government. But it's like getting a new couch. We have to throw the old one out first before we can get the new one. <clears throat> I'm going to try to get this uploaded pretty quick, so maybe you can come over here at Cosmos Sapiens and catch this eclipse. I'll leave a link for you. Uh, you can log into it and catch it before it's all over with. Now, um, there's a couple of more channels that I'd like to recommend. Uh, Cosmos Sapiens is one. Nemen, Nemen, uh, put, spit it out. Nemesis Maturity is another one that I watch uh, about celestial events. They usually post something weekly over there to keep you uh, abreast of what's going on in the heavens. We're in the middle of the Geminid meteor showers that should be awesome. Uh, it snowed here yesterday, which was supposed to be the peak. So, I don't know if I'm going to get to see any of them. Finally, the sun came out here, so I'm grateful for that. Like I said, I'm going to make this a quick video, and I do need to do a quick personal update here and let you know what all is going on with me. Um, my brother will be here this week. Uh, he, he's leaving Seattle today, but it's, it's a few days. It's about two and a half days for him to get here. Now, um... When I first spoke with my brother, it had been years, so we kind of played catch up. And he was, he stays on Facebook and kind of keeps up with our estranged family where I don't. And he informed me that one of my cousins had passed away that I wasn't aware of. <clears throat> and then the very next day, I get an email from my cousin here's friend, the one who kind of done me dirty, and that she has also passed away. And they're having her viewing this week 
the same time my brother arrives. So I'm a little bit on edge here. Things seem to happen in threes. And Kelly's not been well this week. I've not been well this week. I got to moving things around, trying to get ready for my brother to come, and I've hurt my my spleen is just it. I shouldn't be moving heavy stuff around. I've learned my lesson, and I do it anyway. So now I'm in a lot of pain, and I really don't even want to get out of the bed. I'm just tr still trying to play catch up and get as much work done as I can. Uh, I tried to double up my workload so that I could get caught up and maybe even be ahead. And I made a lot of mis I've been making a lot of mistakes. So instead of it saving me time, it's actually cost me more time. And so I'm just having to learn to slow down, take it as it comes, just do what I can. So I'm going to need some of you just to be patient with me. I'm getting there. I know I'm always saying that. I need a secretary so bad it's it's incredible. I can't even keep up with myself lately. But I'm I'm just really excited to watch this. Uh, I want you guys to be able to watch it too. So I'm going to cut this and leave you guys a link. And so you can come over here and enjoy this with me at Cosmos Sapiens. And you guys know what to do. Bank that good karma. Go out and commit that random act of kindness. Smile to the stranger. Open the door. I know it's hard to smile. A lot of you are still being forced to wear masks. And that's just awful. But that's just part of the ritual they're pulling down. We all have to deal with it in our own ways depending upon where you're at. Uh, it, it is a ritual. Just don't get caught up in it. Don't let them trigger you emotionally. That's all they can do. All they can do is trigger you. Uh, your only problem reaction solution, the problem is the trigger. Don't be triggered. Just don't. Just say no. A, a man who can control his emotions and his tongue is truly a man. Uh, Proverbs. Proverbs.